today we're going to talk about the differences between a roll cast, a dynamic roll cast, and a switch cast using two-handed rods. With a standard roll cast, if this was a one-handed rod, or even with a two-handed rod, I would come back very, very slowly and stop. What I'm trying to establish is one, an anchor point, and that's the line in contact with the water, and two, a D-loop, and that's this little loop of line hanging down behind me. With a normal roll cast, I would then stop, then apply that flick, getting that line to roll out. With a dynamic roll cast, I'm actually making a bigger D-loop behind me and a smaller anchor point, but the line is not coming off the water. I'm coming back a little bit more, then I can make that forward cast, and that generates a little bit more line speed, allowing that loop to jump out a little bit faster. And if you really want to get that line to come out faster, then we're going to do the switch cast. With a switch cast, the line actually comes off the water for a brief moment, then touches back down. And we're establishing a very small anchor point right here on the water. What I want to do is bring my rod tip back, nice and straight, nice and flat, and then apply a little bit of a lift. That lift is going to help pick up that line off the water and then touch it back down. I want to try to get that line to land right about where my rod tip is in the water if I drop it down here to the side. So when I make this cast, I come back a little bit quicker, a little lift, touch, then go. Come back a little quicker, lift, touch, and then go. When using a two-handed rod, our top hand, or in this case my right hand, I'm a right-handed caster, my right hand actually becomes a fulcrum. I'm not trying to make this cast with that top hand pushing it out here. This is going to cause me to have a real sore shoulder at the end of the day, and it's just going to wear me out. My bottom hand actually begins to do most of the work. Notice when I make this cast that my top hand almost stays at roughly a 90 degree angle. And notice my bottom hand, I'm making a quick tug towards my belly to get that line to roll out. I'm not trying to push with that top hand, I'm just making a quick tug and stopping that rod tip nice and high. Come back and lift, then I can make that tug. With the dynamic roll cast, I leave the line on the water, I might have to make a little lift, and then I make that tug with that bottom hand. Come back, make that lift, then I make that tug with the bottom hand. I prefer a switch cast, personally, with a lot of these new lines, they're much easier to cast, getting that line to just come off the water, touch, and then go. Timing is critical here. With a normal cast, we have to wait for that line to roll out behind us. With this switch cast, we have to wait just a second for that line just to touch the water. Once it touches, then we can go forward. If we don't wait, you're going to hear that familiar pop or that wisp. That can mean we broke off our fly. So make sure you touch the water, then you go, or splash and go, as my friend Simon used to say. Just splash and go. For making this switch cast, I'm going to actually make a low angle cast so you can see that line a little bit better against the backdrop. If I do it too high, it's tough to see with these clouds. When I make this cast, I want to come back very flat then make that nice lift. Then I can apply that forward flick. And remember, I'm tugging with that bottom hand. So I come back, make that quick tug, and that's going to help get that line out in front of me. I'm trying to establish that anchor point right across from my body. If I can get that good anchor point right there, then that forward cast becomes much easier. If I come back too aggressively, and that anchor point lands way behind me, well, now I could get stuck in the trees. When I try to make that cast, it gets stuck on the water. I just want it to touch and then go. So I come back, make that little lift, touch right across from my body, then I can go. Come back and touch, then I can go. This will help get a nice tight loop with those two-handed rods and help roll that fly out to that big steelhead. And that's the switch cast.